Well, the Northern Territory Chief Minister Natasha Files has accused environmentalists and Teal Independence of spreading misinformation about a $1.5 billion development in Darwin Harbour. Matt Cunningham has more. Last week's federal budget saw the announcement of $1.5 billion in funding for the development of what's being described by the federal government as a common user facility here in Darwin Harbour at Middle Arm. But it's seen an angry response from environmentalists who say that the government's actually planning to build a petrochemical plant. Did you know Territory taxpayers will pay for big oil and gas companies to build a toxic petrochemical hub right in the middle of Darwin Harbour? Teal Independent Monique Ryan also asked the federal government questions about what it plans to build here during the federal parliament sittings last week. Your government allocated $1.5 billion for the Middle Arm Industrial Zone in Darwin Harbour. Middle Arm proposes petrochemical manufacturing using gas from the Beetaloo Basin. Unless that changes, this is a subsidy for the fossil fuel industries. Yep. Will you guarantee the Middle Arm precinct will not produce petrochemicals or gas-based manufacturing? But claims that a petrochemical plant will be built here in Darwin Harbour have sparked an angry response from the Northern Territory's Chief Minister. If the Northern Territory wants to create own source revenue to overcome the education and health challenges that we've got, we need to get on board, we need to look at the opportunities of the future. The megatrends of the future are perfectly aimed to the Northern Territory. Data, carbon capture and storage, uh, climate change, tackling that. We have so many opportunities, so I challenge the Environment Centre to stop making mistreatment that are based on nothing but rubbish and actually get on board, be fully briefed with the facts of this project and support it. The Environment Centre says its claims are based on a line on a Northern Territory government website that spruiks the potential for a petrochemical facility as part of this development. The Northern Territory government says that one of the major things it's planning here in Darwin Harbour is a processing plant for green hydrogen.